our environment. Hi friends! Did you enjoy your holidays? Now we have entered class 4. It shows that we are growing older. We should learn more and more to improve our knowledge. Let us learn science more elaborately than we studied in class 3. Come on, let's go! Good morning, children. Welcome to your new class. I am your science teacher. Do you all like the subject? Yes, ma'am. Science is always interesting. Today, I will start with the very first chapter, our environment. Do you know what is meant by environment? Yes, ma'am, but very little. We would like to learn more. Good. We have lot of things around us, such as the trees, plants, park, playground, roads, houses, buildings, etc. They all form our surrounding. Even tables, chairs and cots form part of our surrounding. This surrounding is called the environment. We got it, ma'am. All the things around us Living as well as non-living things form our environment. Exactly. And we should take care of and keep our environment clean and tidy. Now, tell me, what is waste? Is it those things that are not of any use to us? Good. You are correct. In our surrounding, we also have waste. For example, when you eat a banana or an orange, you peel away the skin and throw it into a dustbin. This is called a waste. Things which people do not need anymore and which are thrown away are called waste. Let us see some more examples. Fruit and vegetable peels, biscuits and chocolate wrapper, papers, polythene bags, eggshells, rotten food etc effect of waste waste if not thrown away properly starts decaying producing bad odor in the air this also helps the house flies and mosquitoes to spread diseases the flies carry different types of disease causing germs from the waste to the food we eat these germs make us ill and unhealthy Waste disposal. To avoid the ill effects of the waste lying around us, we should make sure that we dispose them properly. This is called proper waste disposal. We should throw the waste in the bins and baskets meant for them. Ma'am, from today, we will keep our environment clean and tidy by throwing waste in the bins. Ma'am, what will happen to these waste, ma'am? Science has the answer. The first step is to separate all the waste materials into two groups. 1. Waste that can be reused like plastic, glass, paper, etc. are put in blue bins. The process of using the waste thing again is called recycling. Waste that are naturally decomposed and mixes with soil like food items are put in green bins. When they mix with the soil, they help plants to grow well. Everybody can be a scientist. Ma'am, can I too become a scientist? Yes, you too can become a scientist for a short time while studying this chapter. 